Hello everyone. I hope you're enjoying this series on engineering curves. In today's video, we will be looking at how to draw an involute of a circle. So let's see the definition of an involute. Involute is a curve traced out by the free end of an inelastic string during wrapping or unwrapping over the circumference of a circular disk. Let's see the meaning of this definition with some demonstration. You can see here we have a disk of a certain diameter and also a non-stretchable string is wrapped around a disk. One end of a string is attached to a disk while other end is free. Let's wrap a string completely around a disk. Here notice one thing. The length of a string is greater than the circumference of a disk. This is a free end and this one is a fixed end of a string. Let's now unwrap a string by keeping it tight during unwrapping. And look at the path traced out by the free end of a string. The path traced out is a curve and is known as an involute. Here, our string is completely unwrapped and we will get this curve when we try to wrap the string again. Now let's look at the another situation when the length of a string is equal to the circumference of a disk. You can see both ends of the string are at same position when string is completely wrapped over a disk. I am holding the free end of a string and let's see the path traced out by the free end during unwrapping. Remember, we are going to hold a string tight. And here we have an involute during unwrapping or when you wrap it again. Finally, let's look at the third situation where the length of a string is less than the circumference of a circular disk. Here, free end is not coinciding with fixed end. Let's unwrap a string and trace the path of a free end of a string. And here we have an involute. So we can see the differences in those three situations. And it is the position of a starting point of an involute, which is obviously different in each case because the length of a string is different in all three situations. After looking at all this, I bet you'll never forget the shape of an involute in lifetime. All right. Now, let's solve a problem on an involute and the problem statement is an inelastic string is wound around a disk of a 50 mm diameter. Trace the path of free end of a string. The length of a string is equal to the circumference of a disk. Here, two things are having an importance. One is a disk and other is a string. To solve this, Let's show a disk by drawing a circle of a diameter 50 mm. Next, draw a line tangent to a circle at its bottommost point. And length of this line will be equal to the circumference of a circle which is 157 mm. As the length of a string is equal to the circumference of a disk, we can mark the fixed end of a string on a disk here as P and free end here as P dash. Now, let's divide a circle into 8 equal parts and then divide the line also into 8 equal parts. Name the point on a line as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash and finally 7 dash and that also from left to the right. Here we have applied a logic while deciding a sequence for the point snap and that is when we wrapped a string over a disk 
The first point which will make a contact with a disk is one dash and then two dash and so on. And with the same logic, let's give the names to the points on the circumference of a circle as one, two, three, four, five, six and seven in anticlockwise direction. Next, draw a line tangent to the circle at point one. Note that to draw an exact tangent at point one, make sure that the tangent line must be perpendicular to the line one five. With this note, draw tangents from points two, three, four, five, six and seven. Now, the next step is to locate the points on all these tangents. And to do that, take a compass and take the distance equal to 1 dash to P dash and with center 1, cut an arc on a first tangent line. Next, take the distance in a compass equal to 2 dash to P dash and with center 2, Cut an arc on a second tangent line. Now you might have guessed the next steps to plot remaining points on the tangents. Yes, we will take the distance 3 dash to P dash and with center 3, we will cut an arc on a line which is tangent at 3. Follow the same to get remaining points on their respective tangent lines. As we have plotted all the points, now it's time to connect all of them with a smooth curve. And curve will start from point P dash and it will terminate at point P on the circumference of a circle. And here we get an involute. Let's name all the points on a curve as P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6 and P7. Finally, name a curve as an involute. Thank you for watching.